Hi, my beautiful viewers all over the world. Guys, do you know there are some verses in the Bible you can read when you are in debt? Guys, it works. I'm a living testimony. It works for me when I was in debt. It really works for me. Even when, anytime I'm in debt, once I read this passage, honestly, my secret never comes out. God used to cover my secrets. People doesn't see my secrets. They don't know how I live. They don't know anything about my secrets. They only believe, look at the way she's shining. She has money because of the verses I'm reading in the Bible. So guys, I'm going to share this testimony. I'm going to share these verses to you guys. The verses you can read. When you are in debt, God, you have called us to be leader and not a borrower. You have called us to be a leader and not a borrower. I do tell God, I'm not a borrower. I'm not a debitor. I'm a leader. I don't want people to come and start embarrassing me. I don't want people to come and start knocking on my door. I don't want it. I want to be a leader. I want to be giving people, not for people to borrow. So how can you read the verses you can read to overcome these debit problems you are facing? Guys, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, subscribe. Please give me thumbs up. Give me thumbs up to promote my video. Don't just watch my videos like that without giving me thumbs up. We have Deuteronomy 28 verse 12. Deuteronomy 28 verse 12. Guys, if you want to do this, you have to put your whole heart. Forget about the circumstances surrounding you. Forget about what you are facing at the moment. Do it at a quiet time. You can fast. You can you praise the Lord. Worship the Lord. Read your Bible and make sure you know the meaning of what you are doing, what you are reading. Deuteronomy 28 verse 12. Romans 13 verse 8, guys. Romans 13 verse 8. James 12 verse 17. James 12 verse 17. First Chronicles or First Corinthians, I mean, not Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 46. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 46. Psalm 55, verse 22, guys. Psalm 55, verse 22. Proverbs 27, 22, verse 7. Proverbs 22, verse 7. Proverbs 22, verse 7. Guys, always read these verses in the Bible if you are into debt and you want God to remove you, to remove you from those debts you are, you are having, from those debts, the problem of debts you are having. Open up opportunity for me to increase my income to pay off my debts. Say this prayer. Open up opportunities for me to increase my income to pay off debts that I'm owing. Tell God, He's going to do it for you guys. He's going to do that for you. Give me wisdom on where to reduce my expenses, expenses guys, and how to responsible with the money there are some people once you have that money you just where it's not necessary that is when you will be spending that money always pray to god to give you the wisdom on where to spend your money responsibly something that is reasonable how to spend your money in a reasonable way not in a foolish way once you do that, you will see that wisdom will be there. 
If you have that money, you will know where to spend your money in a reasonable way, not in a useless way. Because if you have that money, once you borrow money, some people will borrow money, they will not spend it in a reasonable way. They will spend it in a foolish way. It will not bring income for them. It will not bring responsible, reasonable income for them to pay their debts. But once you collect debts, once you borrow money, and you have good ways of spending that money, you will see that there will be a good way for you to return that debt. So all these verses is going to help you in your journey. So if you are a debitor and you want to pay off your debt, read these scriptures, read it with your whole heart, and you will see that the Lord will surely clear those debts you are facing. Please, once you are in debt or you collected loan, you collected money for your business, please use it in a reasonable way. Tell God to lead you to use it in a reasonable way. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Love my videos. Share my videos with your family and friends. Thank you and God bless you.